Hey, Fancy Free RV fans, thank you so much for joining us today where I'm going to share with you a few things that we use, almost pretty much some things we do use on a daily basis and some things that we don't. I want to share a couple of things with you from the things that we use, as, as small as a, a toothbrush to as big as a portable air conditioner. Stay tuned. Something as simple as using a toothbrush as a cleaning mechanism, especially for fantastic screens. Um, it's really simple to get, you know, the crusty bugs off and all the dust. And it's just a matter of just rubbing the screen gently and it'll clean this, this right up. Don't need water or anything like that. And yes, it's it does kind of float down a little bit, but then, you know, you can just clean the floor. <laughs> but that is so awesome. Um, simple, simple, simple. I try to take these simple fans off, uh, or these fantastic fans off, you know, just by unscrewing everything, but all of this stuff is hooked up. And this, uh, this part that the screen, this screen part doesn't come off. I thought it'd be super simple and I can't take this mechanism off without, you know, unhooking everything and I can't reach inside. So I figured, hey, a toothbrush would probably work. So this works really well. Simple stuff. And I gotta clean the floor anyway, so that's all right, cool. Another great uh, addition for full-time, in any, in any case actually full-time or part-time, is obviously a generator. And I would highly recommend an inverted generator so it's a lot quieter, not only for you as you're enjoying your TV or joining inside or being outside even, but it also is quiet for your neighbors too. So what we have is uh, we have the 2400 uh, Yamaha. And what's really cool is that we use this when it's cloudy out um, or if it's raining. Um, and well, we do have three panels uh, solar panels on the top so we just use this for a backup and we have it all set out here but when we're like not doing long term in a place what we like to do is we like to have uh, a set of batteries two batteries that go inside the camper and we have an extra invert inverter for that so let me just go ahead and show you real quick So here we have this set up. Uh, we got a couple of things that are just kind of laying here, but what we have is we have an inverter that is set up to this battery. So what we'll do is we'll get power to this inverter so we can uh, run on rainy days or something like that. And maybe we don't want, uh, see it's an extra inverter that we have here, but maybe we don't want to go outside and set up the generator or something like that, right? Um, and it's like raining or maybe it's something that we haven't want to do real quick We can probably run two of our laptops and charge our phones and probably last Maybe an hour to two hours or something like that depending on how much power we're we're putting in But we have two of these that we keep on charge all the time So in case we need to switch out then we switch out so this works really well and it's a good backup So not only do we have the the solar power But we also have the generator and we also have an extra inverter and with these two batteries uh, so we can do all in-house and not have to go outside. Another good idea is to have these seven gallon jugs. We actually have four of these and uh, we tend to boondock more than going to campsites. So it's always good to have those. Uh, that's good for washing hands or to save up on water. Uh, sometimes I'll sit out here and maybe wash my hair. I kind of put the bucket down and kind of uh, have a smaller bucket or something. Um, and I can wash my hair out here if I want to, um, but just to save up on water. So it's always a good idea to have water on hand. That's very, very important. So where to store these? Uh, we used to store them in our back bathroom over here where my extra bathroom is, but um, where we're finding out is a better place is actually right in Monty. So we've been putting them in the back seat of Monty here and just uh, uh, kind of distribute the weight a little bit. So that's where we're, we have them with our with our uh, with us but it's always important to have water so make sure you have plenty of water um, another thing that goes with that is we have a pump 
So, oh yeah, here's our here's our spot. This is uh, in Nevada, but with that, with all that water, it's always a good idea to have a water pump. So, you know, just for boondocking sake, that we can stay out longer. If we need more water. We just grab the the um, the water jugs and we just go fill them up somewhere, and then we come back here and fill up the fill up the uh, the water tank, and we're good to go. So with that, what we do with the blue jugs is that uh, we'll use that to fill up our one gallon uh, jugs. So it's a lot easier to handle than filling up our water bottles, you know, filling up our water bottles with that or something like that. And that's just kind of what we do. And we just kind of tuck that back in the bathroom until we're ready to use it because we can, uh, it's easier to uh, use this to fill up our, our coffee and our water here. And that just saves up a lot of our uh, water in our tank. Um, and that's just what we do. So. so here's a really cool idea um, is to save up, being that this is a bunkhouse uh, model, we have two gray tanks and uh, we don't, I, I personally just use the back bathroom as a closet so I don't take a shower back there. We just uh, share the same shower. And uh, to save up on room for that gray tank, what we do is we use this plastic tub and we just kind of put something here so because we don't want this to be laying on here because we were starting to get some you know some moisture back here and we're gonna have to replace this uh, the sealant here because it started to get a little bit crustified but so what we do is that we just put this little plastic container you get that at the dollar store or whatever we just had it on hand and we have this plastic tub to sit on here and this this is all of our coffee water and we wash our hands wash our dishes and what we can do is we can dump this outside or down our bathroom sink if we have to. But we normally do it outside because what we like to do is we like to use uh, natural products that are either chemical-free or uh, plant-based products. So anything that we dump outside is not harmful to the environment. So we're very happy about that and we're very conscious about uh, the environment so we make sure that everything is clean. But to save up on any of the uh, gray tank in the back, we just use this for our kitchen sink and we just dump it outside when we need to and we're good to go. So that's an idea for you guys for if you're planning on wanting to stay out as long as possible when you are boondocking. This is fantastic. And, and just for those coffee lovers, just like us, uh, to save up on a lot of power or anything from the juice from like either the solar or we don't have to run the generator for a coffee pot, I highly recommend a French press. This makes about, oh, I think one, two, three cups of coffee, maybe four at the most or something like that, depending on how big your cup is. It makes excellent tasting coffee. Um, I absolutely love the French press. It's about 15 bucks at Walmart. But uh, we simply, what we do is we heat up, um, we, we fill up the water. You know, there's instructions that come with it, but we just heat it up with, and just use a little bit of propane to heat up water, make our coffee, 200 degree water into our coffee, you know, and, and we got coffee for the day. We can make two of these or something for the day and, and we're, we're good to go for the all day. But just to save on power, this is a must, especially for your coffee lovers. So right here, um, what you see in the in the back bathroom here is a a 10k BTU air conditioning unit. And for those who um, are, like I said, if you wanted to go boondocking, three panels uh, up above the roof is uh, for solar is not going to run our AC. And on those hot days, we use this with the generator, and it works perfect so we store it back here we travel it with back here and when we want to have ac on a really hot day basically what i do is i bring it over here and put it on the corner and i have the exhaust going out this window so for those of you depending on what your setup is for your rv uh, we have pull out uh, pop out windows that just kind of tilt this way so it won't work in this window but we do have the side slide window that comes up so it's perfect so the exhaust fan kind of you know the the pipe or whatever you call it or the tube fits right up on here I close it all up and it works really great and it just kind of sits in this corner there's our plug so it works really really well 
So that's just another idea for, for anybody who, who wants to do some, a lot of boondocking with some AC that works very, very well. And while I'm here, I just kind of wanted to show you my closet. So like I said, this is kind of like a storage kind of closet thing. Uh, this is like a wet bath. So I hung up all of my extra clothing because with this bunk model, there's really no place to put clothes except for in the drawers here. And there's really not much space in here. So I decided to um, create a, a bar. So we had to screw that in to make sure it held and it works really well. I think that's awesome. All right, there you have it. There is our list of things that we love to use and it just helps us support our, our full-time lifestyle. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that little bell notification. Being that Pops and I don't upload videos often, but when we do, it's usually something that's uh, useful for hopefully you can use it. So appreciate you. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye for now. All right, just wanted to say thank you. Wait. Hopefully to see you on the next video when that happens. Cool little things that we use on our travels as we are... Um... Pops and I want to say thank you so much for subscribing. So be, too, be sure to... Be too. Thanks very much. Bye.